All right, it is time for the quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula, like completing the square, is used when you have a non-factorable expression. So we all know the quadratic formula. Some of us learned it by a song. Some of us learned it not by a song. But either way, it is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. The only thing that I really need you guys to understand about this is what we call the discriminant. The discriminant of the quadratic formula tells you what types of solutions you're going to have. And the discriminant of the quadratic formula is the b squared minus 4ac, otherwise known as what's underneath the radical sign. There are three conditions that the discriminant is will face in every single problem. If b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, in other words, if this is positive, if this is a positive expression, what that means is that you have two real solutions. In other words, it crosses the x-axis twice. If b squared e minus 4ac is equal to 0, what you have is one real solution crosses the x-axis once, so like that double root that you saw a couple lessons ago. If b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, what that means is you have no solution. No, wait! That is not true. You have two imaginary solutions. Remember, those imaginary numbers are going to be back a lot in this chapter. So, if we think about it, it makes sense. If we, have, if we have a positive number underneath the square root, we will get a number, which means two real solutions. If we end up with a negative number underneath the square root, that was back in Algebra 1 when you would call quits on the problem and be happy that you got a no solution on your test. Unfortunately, you are not allowed to do that anymore. You will have imaginary solutions. So, I think the best thing we can do now is give you guys a few examples. We'll do maybe two or three hundred of these in this video. Number one. Now, in your book and on the quiz, you will be asked to find the discriminant, and then you'll be asked to solve using the quadratic formula. So, in a problem, say like number one here, if I have 3x squared plus 9x plus 2 equals 0, I want you to go ahead and make a little side note for some side work here, I'm going to go and delete this thing, this little snake. And I'm going to create a little column called disk, and that's for the discriminant. I'm going to find the discriminant first, so I need to identify what a, b, and c are. a is 3, b is 9, c is 2. So the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. That would be b squared, so 9 squared minus 4. a is 3, c is 2. So I've got, oops, I'm sorry, I made a little bit of a tactical error here. That's supposed to be a negative 2. So again, sorry, this is supposed to be a negative 2 out here, so make sure you change that. I have 81 minus 12 times 2 is negative 24, so minus negative 24 is positive 24, which is equal to 105. So that's my discriminant. I have a positive number in my discriminant, so I need to identify. I have two real solves or solutions. Let's go ahead and solve this using the quadratic formula. Negative b, which is 9, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Well, we already found that. That's the discriminant here, 105. No need to reinvent the wheel on that one. All over 2a. Well, a is 3, so 2 times a is 6, and x equals that value. Whoops. Kind of looks like a whale. All right. Let's do another one. Number two. I'm going to say 7x squared plus 6x plus 2 equals 0. Again, I'm going to draw a line, create a column called disk. Find the discriminant first. So a equals 7, b equals 6, c equals 2. 
And so my discriminant is going to be 30, oh, rather, 6 squared minus 4 times A times C. 36 minus 28 times 2 is 56, so my discriminant is negative 20. That means I have two imaginary solutions. So let's go ahead and pump this into the quadratic formula and see what we get. I have negative B plus or minus the square root of my discriminant, which is negative 20, all over 2A, which is 14. Sorry. Let's simplify the square root of negative 20. That would be negative 6 plus or minus I rad 5 over 14. And that's as far as you can go in this problem. All right, next example. Five x squared minus two x plus four equals zero. I'm going to go ahead and draw my column and write disk. I'm going to identify a as five, b as negative two, c as four. So again, into the discriminant we go: negative two squared b squared minus four a c. This is four minus twenty eighty, which equals negative seventy six, which means two imaginary solutions. And we are now entering Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, here we go. Negative, negative 2, right? Negative B, plus or minus the square root of negative 76 all over 2A, which is 2 times 5, which is 10. Well, the square root of negative 76 is, well, we got 2 plus or minus this is really 4 and 19. Let's make that negative 4. So what I've really got is 2 plus or minus 2i rad 19 over 10. Those are going to cancel each other out. I end up with 1 plus or minus i rad 19 over 5. And that's pretty much the quadratic formula and the discriminant. We'll see you next time.